time of prohibition during the roaring 1920s, one man in Chicago would become one of the most notorious gangsters of all time, whose name and legend are still recognized today. Scarface, Al Capone. There were few men who would go to challenge Capone for the control of smuggling and bootlegging during that time and live. But George, Bugs Moran did, and their war would finally come to an end after a massacre. Alphonse Gabriel Capone was born in New York on January 17th in 1899 to Italian immigrant parents and would grow up to join the Five Points gang as a teenager. Other gangsters in the gang included Charlie Lucky Luciano and Johnny Torrio, and they operated in Lower Manhattan. Brooklyn and Harlem. George Clarence Moran, known as Bugs, was born in Minnesota in 1893 and dropped out of high school at 18. Before he was 21 years old, he'd been to jail three times. As he became more well-known to police, he decided to head to Chicago as he would be less known. His life of crime continued in Illinois, and he was soon arrested for robbery, resulting in the death of a police officer, and would serve prison time for several crimes. Bugs Moran became friends with two men named Dean O'Banion and Jaime Weiss, and these three bootleggers from the north side of Chicago and their mostly Irish gang would go on to challenge Al Capone and his Italians on the south side. At the time, Al Capone and his organization were still growing, and so these men were a legitimate threat to his taking over. The war over millions of dollars a year in the world of bootlegging was in full effect in Illinois, with both gangs suffering many casualties while the conflict continued, and a major event occurring with the murder of Dean O'Banion in 1924. Moran and Weiss hit back by trying to assassinate Capone at his headquarters, the Hawthorne Inn in Cicero, Illinois in 1926. And even though a thousand bullets were fired, Capone was unharmed. Capone's response was the murder of Jaime Weiss and his bodyguard, with two of his trigger men gunning them down with submachine guns October 11, 1926. Big Al decided to end the war once and for all. On February 14, 1929, seven of Bugs Moran's Northside gang were waiting for him in a parking garage when a Cadillac pulled up and four men got out, two of them dressed like police officers. The seven men were lined up against a wall and were riddled with bullets from Tommy guns, instantly killing six of them. The seventh was hit by 14 bullets and died hours later telling police that nobody shot me when asked who was behind it. Bugs Moran had been running late that day, which had saved his life at the time. Al Capone, the mastermind behind the St. Valentine's Day Massacre as it became known, was in Florida at the time. Moran would flee Chicago and continue a life of crime until being arrested and spending years in jail before dying of lung cancer in 1957 at the age of 63. Al Capone had already died a decade earlier in 1947 from several health issues including syphilis, a stroke, and heart issues after spending years in jail himself for tax evasion. 